Hey guys, welcome back to Pray Shop Cruise. My name is Aitiri, and today I am going to be starting my recordings for my huge November Cato haul. I will be doing this over a series of days and weeks. Excuse me, you're kind of crooked. <laughs> and um, so you'll see me come as I get these items. Some items are on the way from online and some items I'm purchasing in store. So we're going to jump right into it. The first outfit is actually something I bought in October and forgot to include in the October haul for Kato. This is probably my favorite Kato outfit of the entire year. I'll just go ahead and say it. You're going to you're going to see this outfit in a lot of videos and in a lot of uh pictures on this channel. These uh camo athletic pants and the matching camo athleisure shirt. Okay. I purchased this shirt in a size extra large and the pants are in a size large the shirt and pants at the time uh, that i purchased uh were probably 20 something dollars maybe 25.99 a piece the pants were probably a little less maybe 16 17 bucks the material feels really great this is a cow neck i bought extra large because i wanted this shirt to fit oversized and it does it has quarter length sleeves that cap at the end so it gives you that capped look and you can roll them up very easily it's not a super heavy fabric but it's not a super light fabric so if you layer underneath this you're going to be warm um in places down south you probably wouldn't even need a coat with this and these athleisure or athletic pants have the pockets on the sides <coughs> excuse me which i love kato does this kato i love the way kato does their athletic pants a lot of athletic pants or leggings don't have pockets for your phone. These do. This is probably my number one favorite Kato outfit of the year, hands down. And I'm not even done shopping. But I've worn this outfit so many times. And I have a lot of clothes, y'all. I got multiple closets full of clothes. And I just keep wearing this. It's sad. It's got to stop. <laughs> so this is the first outfit. If you can find this, catch it or get it on sale do buy it size up if you want the the oversized look otherwise get your regular kato size kato has very forgiving sizes a lot of times you can even size down in kato the next shirt is going to be a shirt i've been wearing i kept the tag for it though i got it in a size medium for 19.99 and it says created with a purpose and it has these this beaded feature here created with a purpose and it has this waffle knit material i have another shirt uh, that i just purchased in the october haul with the waffle knit material i've really been liking the waffle knit it's really comfortable and obviously i've been liking these greens you know for the fall i have on another waffle knit green uh dress today and um the waffle knit is not heavy at all it's very light um but it also feels very warm at the same time so again if you layered underneath this one you would need a heavy jacket the next item that i have here to show is a two-piece set you have to buy the pieces separately this is also in their live well or athleisure line i'm a huge fan of kato's athleisure line because this is what i wear around the house daily to work and get on meetings so it's so important that i'm in comfortable comfortable material and that I'm just comfortable throughout the day. The shirt is in a size large. It was $15.99 and the pants are in a size large for $15.99. I could have sized down with the pants probably. Well, I haven't tried it on yet, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, but large can either be a perfect size or too large for me lately as my weight's been fluctuating, uh, fluctuating in good ways. So this live well line um this material is very plush very very stretchy very plush and i love the way kato is doing this pink this is just a plain pink with with no design it's got a light pink lining there at the collar at the top and then the pants do have a drawstring and stretch 
Are there pockets in these? Looks like there's not pockets in these particular pants. So these are not pants with pockets, which sucks because I like pants with pockets, but I think these are supposed to be more and more so like PJs, which is why they don't have pockets. I love that the ends of these pants are cinched. So you have a cinching cap here that is very stretchy and forgiving at the end of the pants. So this is uh, the first three outfits, the beginning. I will come back as I make more port purchases uh, and as the things come in online from this haul. Okay guys, it's a gloomy fall day and I have a second batch of Kato. So I did just recently go to my favorite Kato store closest, well, not closest to me. This store is a few hours away, about two hours away, but it's my favorite one that I've seen within my surroundings that I've physically traveled to. It's considered one of the test corporate Kato's for my state where a lot of stuff goes to that Kato just to see how people like it, are people gonna buy it? So a lot of the times when I go to this particular Kato, you don't see the same things online. A lot of times they'll have some of the items that online said were sold out, they'll still have them. It's just my favorite Kato. I make that drive very frequently, you know, especially on a beautiful day, drive about two hours down, two hours back and just enjoy the Kato. So let me show you what I got this particular round. Um, the first item is something I really wanted. And um, the online store said that it was sold out. This is the cropped blazer um, in this deep holiday red, holiday for Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's Eve, and Valentine's Day. I have a bunch of other red from Kato and Kato's baby store, um, not baby store, but sister store, baby sister store, uh, Versona. The Kato red and Versona red are a little bit different. I'm gonna see if this uh, cropped Kato blazer matches a pair of red pants that I bought like a year and a half or two years ago. Um, I did try this on in the store, so excuse the dirty Kato mirror. I tried all of these items on in store. Um, so I'll show you clips of the in-store try on and the mirror super dirty. So excuse that. I'll probably try these on again with other items in my closet and post a side by side. I absolutely love this blazer. I wanted it in a medium, um, but online was sold out. When I went to the store, they only had large and extra large. I think it was like two left. And so I just grabbed the large. Um, I could have actually worn this in a small even, but I do love the oversized fit and I love the embellished buttons. Let's see what's on this button here. It's some sort of Kingsley like <laughs> embellishment. Talbot's does similar embellishments. Other brands do as well. A blazer like this in Talbot's would have run about 150 bucks, but Talbot's probably would have made this a lot heavier than um, what this fabric feels like. This is a very light, airy blazer, and I appreciate that. Um, but somewhere else, you would have been, you would have paid way more than what I paid, and what I paid due to the markdown was 17.99 for this very elevated red cropped blazer and you can see that it is a little oversized on me it does have shoulder pads it does have these shoulder pads okay i like shoulder pads for a blazer so i'm keeping them in and as you can see the lining is very light um so there is a lining but it's not like gonna keep you super warm i'm probably gonna wear i don't know how i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna wear this multiple ways i'm gonna wear this with multiple things jeans pants dress um skirts i'm gonna wear this a lot i love this color red um so i'm gonna see if i can find my pants from kato that hopefully match this because i could do all red as well but if you go to a kato and you see this blazer get it quickly don't walk run okay so that's the first item i walked away with the second one is this gorgeous shirt that reminds me of a brand you see in Buckle, a store like Buckle. It's called, um, darn it. <laughs> I hate when I have a brain fart. It starts with the A. I have to look it up and maybe insert the name of it. Um, but 
this reminds me of that brand, that motorcycle brand. Uh, and it has this kind of rock star design. I mean, you know what, what Kato's copying here. It's their form of that. You've seen this in other higher end stores, you know, shirts like this, depending on the brand, um, will run you $50 and up. Um, but of course this was not that price. This was only $22.99 right now at Kato. And they only had a few left in these. I ended up getting this in a size large because I didn't want it sticking to me. It's a very light, airy fabric. You cannot even kind of see through in the back here. Um, I did try this one on in store too. Uh, in store, I just had my Spanx shorts. That's what you're saying, my uh, a Spanx undergarments there. But I'm planning on wearing this with jeans, leggings, and boots. You can wear this with shorts. Ooh. ooh. I may take this on my carnival cruise tour with my sparkly shorts. Y'all, I keep changing my outfits for my carnival cruise. I just did a packing video and I'm talking about changing my outfits. But this shirt is their version to me of that famous motorcycle brand that does these types of em embellishments. And I was just about to get a similar shirt from Buckle uh, that was way more expensive than this this isn't even thirty dollars but you're not gonna find this one on sale and you're not gonna find this one online either i don't think um if you do get it if they have your size i love the way this fits i love the way this looks let's see here and then on this particular run i have one last outfit pretty much this is a matching set i wanted and online has the sizes sold out, but this particular Kato has it. This is this charcoal gray, black, funny color. They dyed it in this particular way to where it looks very distressed. It gives you a free people vibe. There's the word for you guys. The free people vibe is what this particular set, set gives you. And let me just show you the matching hoodie so i had to go ahead and get the matching hoodie in a large i did try this on in store i like the way this large fits um in the hoodie the in the store i tried on the pants they only had a medium pant and an extra large pant left that medium pant was tight okay way tighter than i expected so i just went ahead and grabbed the extra large i got to retry this on to see if i like the extra large um it is bigger much bigger than that medium but it has a drawstring and this material runs very tight, very form-fitting. These do have pockets. So I'll retry this on with the extra large. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it and just drawstring it. And then the pants have the little legging kind of scrunch at the bottom. I think that's what's making it tighter than it normally would be. But this definitely, you're going to find similar items. Look at this distressing. The material is a little bit heavier. This is a free people outfit that would have cost you 150 for both pieces together off the top don't even play y'all know free people looks like this okay um and i think that's probably one of the reasons why this sold out so quickly in kato online but i found it in my favorite kato y'all i love what kato is doing right now for the fall all right y'all so this is feature me trying on these uh extra large pants when i was in the store i tried on the medium and i didn't like how tight they were so i went ahead and just Bought the extra large on a whim. The extra large is big and spacious, but this drawstring is working great to pull everything in and keep them on my waist for the most part. They're baggier than I would have probably wanted, but it does help with the oversized look of this outfit. The oversized look is definitely the look you would have seen on a site like Free People for this same outfit. The shirt was $24.99 and the pants were $22.99. I forgot to mention that. So I also wanted to mention that you can pair this set with anything. I just threw on some of my favorite white sparkly pearl sneakers and this random bedazzled hat that I got from the hair supply store uh, a little while ago. But this outfit is so fun. You can do anything with it. I do love it. I do love the distressed look of it. And it definitely gives you that free people flair for less than half of the free people price. And again, the hoodie was $24.99 and the pants were $22.99. I'm, I'm, I'm falling more in love with Kato. And um, I'm going to be back. They about to get all my coins. I'm not going to lie to you. They about to get all my coins. So this is this set. 
I will come back again because I am still waiting on some items that I did order online. So when I receive those, I will return. Real quick, y'all, the motorcycle brand I'm thinking of is called Affliction. It's called Affliction. And um, I have a little, I'll take a little screenshot of just one of their shirts. It's not just like this one, um, but it gives you the same vibe. And you know what kind of patterns I'm talking about. And Affliction will also do these like little rhinestones and everything. The shirt and the screenshot I'm going to show you is like $64, okay, for that shirt. This is less than half of that price with the same vibe. And I hope Kato kind of starts doing some more of this, you know, kind of rock star inspired, motorcycle inspired wear. Um, but the brand is Affliction. And I do love that Affliction brand. I don't own anything by it um, from Buckle. Um, I do have some things like on my wish list at Buckle, but I haven't purchased it yet. Um, if you want me to do a buckle haul, let me know. I probably will anyway, whether you want me to or not. But yeah, that's the brand. That's what I'm thinking of, y'all. Hey guys, it's me back for the last time with my last couple of items that I'm going to put in this video. I have one pair of shoes that literally just got marked down uh, this week. By the time I post this video, this will be probably a week after. These are called... I don't know what these are called. Wilder, Wilder 06 are, is what these are called. And they don't have ha half sizes. Usually I'm an eight and a half, but I had to get these in a nine. I did try these on in store and a nine fit way better than an eight. So if you're a half size, go up a size. The lady in the store was talking about how these are a version of, excuse me, a version of a high-end shoe. I think it's called like goose egg or goose something. Um, they usually run like 300 bucks, but at Kato, this went from $29.99 to $20.99. These are very comfortable. You can wear these with a lot of different things to make your outfit fun and fashionable and put a splash of color. I will be trying them on with the last set that I purchased. I did order this set online with a few other items that I'm going to put in another video. Um, this set is in their Live Well Athleisure collection. The shirt is in a size large. This was purchased for $19.99. Super soft velora fabric is what it feels like, but it's a very lightweight velora, okay? I haven't tried this on yet, so at the time of me showing this to you, I actually don't know how it fits, but I'm going to put a video beside me here. And then the pants are also in a size large, the pants were $22.99. So the pants were more than the shirt, cost more than the shirt. The pants have a stretchy uh, closure at the leg here. Um, very, very soft material. The pants do have pockets. Um, this is a soft velora, a very funny color, but I'm gonna try it on with these. I think th that'll be fun and see how it works. Um, and that's gonna wrap up this particular Cato November haul. Stay tuned, I will be doing some upcoming videos that are gonna feature items that I've just recently purchased from Cato. Thanks for your time if you made it this far. Stay blessed. Let me know if you have any questions um, or just any comments about anything. Um, go ahead and comment in the section below. Oh, and if you, haven't already go ahead and check out my secondary channel it's called iteri tv i'll put a link for it in the description i talk about other things that i care about in life like hair job searches and i've got some other things in the pipeline for that channel that i'm trying to build so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon